Hi there, I am Tatiana Dennis and I'm here to teach you how to draw using the cute and simple style of kawaii and to give you the skills you need to finally start that creative business even if you don't think you are creative or you are a complete beginner. Here I'm using a black felt tip pen. This is a multi-liner, 0.5 size, but you can use any marker or pen that you like or even pencils, it doesn't really matter. Here I'll show you how to draw a simple doodle cute snowflake five different ways. So let's start with a basic snowflake. It has six points. We'll draw a vertical line and then find where the center is and add two more lines, kind of like a pizza. Imagine you're slicing a pizza pie. Here is one and here's the other one. It doesn't need to be exactly precise. It's a doodle snowflake, so it'll look cute anyway. And then let's add some balls on the tips to make it cute and playful. Now, snowflakes usually have little icicles so let's add a few here. This is a really simple and cute snowflake. You can use it for greeting cards, you can put it in your bullet journal. I know when I sign a birthday card or a note, I like to draw little special personal decorative elements and that makes it really sweet. So you see, I don't always have enough room for the icicles to be even but that's fine i'll just draw that one a little bit smaller and in the end it looks pretty cute it'll actually look better when it's uh, in a smaller size as we saw in the snowman drawing earlier okay second type of snowflake will be a little bit more complicated we'll add a center center decoration so again draw a vertical line find the center slice your pizza pie into six pieces and by the way your snowflakes you could draw them as four pointed or eight pointed whatever i just like to do six pointed because that's how they come in nature and i like to stick to that but truly they can be whatever imagination uh, you want to do so now we'll add a center decorative element so just these little it's like v-shapes you add v-shapes in the center and then you can go ahead and add the icicles again and notice that the bottom icicle part is a little bit bigger and the top icicle is a little bit smaller and just go around it's very meditative and very fun and the result looks really good so there's a second snowflake. Now let's do one like this, but a little bit more stylized. So again, six pointed base. And now imagine there's a circle that goes around the tips and we're gonna draw an upside down V to indicate a crystal, but it's gonna go up all the way to where the edge of the circle would be, if you can imagine it. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm gonna go up all the way and then in, and up and in. Go around and do that the whole piece. And now on the tips, let's just add little balls. Maybe they're little ice drops or water drops. In any case, they look really cute. And if you like, you can even color them in and make it more stylized and beautiful. Also, if you want, you can add more decorative elements in the center, but I'm just gonna leave this one as it is. Okay, so that's the third one. Now for the fourth one, we're gonna do something crazy. This is gonna do your head in. Well, it does for me. So, but it's really fun, check this out. So, here is the six pointed base. Now, put the circles on the tips so that you know what are your main bases. 
And now it's kind of like we did these icicles, but we're going to connect them along the way. So this is how you would normally do an icicle. Where you're going to continue this line until it becomes an icicle for the next one. And then do it again. So it's like you're building this crisscross pattern. It's like a visual puzzle. It's probably really good for your brain. And then look, the final one, it just connects. Isn't it beautiful? Wow. And for the fifth one, let's do my favorite kind. A little bit more decorative, a little bit more complicated, but very pretty. So let's do a six pointed base, find the center, divide, divide. And instead of putting circles on the tips, let, let's put little rhomb shapes. So make a little V and another V. It's like a pointed crystal. A V and a V. Little pointed rhomb shapes. And then for the center, instead of making a pointed angle like this, I'll just make it circle like a flower. This is a little bit more stylized and decorative. I really like this design. And then we can add icicles again. You can really be playful here, really. And this is a great thing to draw with kids. Or if you're in a meeting or something and you just need to pass the time. Look, you're doing something creative. This is very pretty. And you can even start to add some decorative touches. Here it is. And now you have the five big uh, snowflakes, fancy ones. And then you have all this empty space around it. So you can start to put some simpler snowflakes, some simpler little shapes. Let's say we just have our six pointed base or a four pointed or eight pointed or whatever you like. And then just add the balls and the tips. Maybe one here, wherever there is an empty space, I just put one in. Again, this is very meditative. You can just disappear into it and have fun. And then maybe one more over here. And this is how you can see how a design starts to emerge. And then you can even do simpler ones. Look, just a little six pointed snowflake. So notice how I'm getting smaller and smaller and smaller with my decorative elements and that's how you do the design start with big place your big shapes and then add the small shapes and then let's even do some circles these are maybe some little snowflakes or drops and you can even add some snow powder with the little dots look how cute let me know in the comments, what would you do with this design? How could you use it? And there we have it, five snowflake pattern that is ready to be used for a card, a bullet journal spread, a gift, or just as a relaxing meditative activity for your afternoon. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell button to be notified of all the new videos I create. And visit my website tatianadenis.com for more tutorials and to learn how to draw quickly and easily using the kawaii style.